So today I'm going to talk about um, extracting or ripping music CD. And um, the first thing to do that is um, you go to your applications up top here. So, and you click on sound video and then audio CD extractor. And this will open. Um, sound juicer and make sure your CD is inside of course and see you see out here you can test play if you like or extract but you don't want to extract just yet <coughs> you want to change some settings inside it and to do that you just go to edit and then preference <coughs> and I'll show you this type of thing do if you want to eject or open the folder when you finish and the folder where you want to save it to is here and just leave this alone folder hierarchy and for right here where it says file name um, yeah check um, check on the track artist no not this one track artist and track title cause you wanna make it look sexy when when you rip it off you know you want to look something like this, like the Beatles and then space, and then space. See, see how it looks like right here. That's sexy. Don't use this shit. Come on, look at this. I see this on like idiots that upload their their files. Who the hell wants to use this? A underscore line? What the fuck? Right? We don't want to do that. So just uncheck that shit if if it's checked. It. So you want to look something like this, or some sexy shit like this. <coughs> okay, and then down to the output format um... don't use mp3s unless you need to save space and that's all and or you're ripping to um, your ipod or your um... sansha or whatever you use right? um, that's all i'm going to say about that because mp3 is slow quality yeah, um, okay and then they have some other one like uh, Og Forbis, Og the Og files. Um, Og is kind of like it's an open format. Um, it's great and all, but um, what I what I need to say about this? Well, if if you want to save space but like have a higher quality than MP3, I guess you use Og is in the middle somewhere there. <coughs> is an open standard so you don't have to uh, you know use M mp3s so I recommend that over mp3 I guess but for me <coughs> I would like to use a uh, flack uh, flack stands for let me see what it stands for free lossless audio codec uh, basically what it is is like um, is an image of your what is an exact rip of your um your songs right so I mean so I think this is the format that's future proof because uh, you can actually convert it to other format like mp3s or aug and it'll be just like you ripping off from the actual CD because that's how flack is it's like the actual CD but the only drawback to FLAC is uh, the size. It's like 30 or 40 megabytes per per song, you know. But it beats uh, Wave. Wave is like is uh, is too big. Wave is like 500 or 100 or something like that. I don't know for per song. So if you want high quality and you want like the you know the the real almost like the real CD you want to save it to flack but you want to save space or you just don't give a damn mp3s or or aug is the thing I would say aug if you're using like um, you know if you want open the format uh, aug is, is alright but for me it's flack and AAC and stuff um, it's just it's kind of better but come on lossless it's, th it's the future to me so 
once you got it all ready see see you got it all ready close and then just hit extract and it should uh, take you know five or ten minutes and you're done and then it should be in your music folder so, alright I already extracted so see it looks something like this flack that's my folder And see, look at look at the files. It's it's like thirty per song. So yeah, um, choose whatever format you like. But you know, if you don't like that crackling sound in uh, MP3s, when you, you know you crank up the volume, um, yeah, use FLAC or August Forbes.